I wanted to be a scientist when I was a little kid, and I would have figured out real quick that I didn't, uh, but my dad wouldn't let me have a chemistry set, and here is why. Uh, well, Brock, when me and your uncle were little, we had a chemistry set, and the only experiment we ever performed was we would catch a frog, and we'd pour a bunch of chemicals into it, and we'd see how many chemicals we had to pour into it before it died, or did something weird. So I couldn't learn about science because my dad was a serial killer. <laughs> Which, uh... No, <laughs> thank you for a heckle with knowing my dad's occupation. <laughs> Cheers, Salina, Kansas. Thanks for coming out. Um... <laughs> Alright, that tops, that tops Anne Rand. That's better. Uh, <laughs> But to be fair, as a kid, I didn't know what a scientist was. I knew what a scientist was from what I'd seen on Saturday morning cartoon shows. Like a scientist has a lab and makes potions, does experiments, has lasers and robots and henchmen. Oh, supervillain. I didn't know there was a difference between scientist and supervillain. And I just grew up and I didn't, I didn't get any science. So I was really still thinking that. We're in like the fifth grade and kids are like, I'm gonna grow up to be like an NFL quarterback or I'm gonna grow up to be like an astronaut. I just get in their face like, you are dumb. You know what the chances are of you being a space quarterback? Zero point nothing. Like, oh, Brock, what are you gonna do? Shredder! I'm gonna be Shredder. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drive an earth drill around. I'm gonna spend my entire life assaulting four adolescent turtles and their elderly rat sensei. It's all I've ever wanted. 